Hello, welcome to the session of Fortinet FortiGuard SOC as a service for MSSP. In this session, we'll go over the overview of how to leverage this service for the MSSP use cases. What is SOC as a service? Fortinet SOC as a service is a cloud-based managed security and 24 by 7 365 monitoring service powered by FortiGuard Threat Intelligence and SOAR platform with dedicated security experts led investigations and incident triages. This is a first of unique service from Fortinet that no other cybersecurity vendors offer. Onboarding is easy with three simple steps. Purchase SOC as service entitlement for each FortiGate. Second, register devices in FortiCare through FortiCloud account. Third one, submit onboard request from SOC as service portal. SOC as a service receives all the FortiGate logs through on-prem Forti Analyzer or Forti Analyzer Cloud hosted in the Forti Cloud. With the new multi-tenancy support, now partners can subscribe to SOC as a service for each deployed device, enabling seamless delivery of SOC services to their client. Once partner or customer onboard to the SOC as a service, there will be a pop-up to select regular customer or onboard as a MSSP. Upon submitting MSSP onboard request and approved, the landing dashboard will give you overall view of the devices registered in the account and the devices onboarded. Now we can see multiple account selection. Onboarding a new client is very simple with the guided steps. Add a new client with the name Sunnyvale for the device to onboard. Log collection method here I am choosing with Forti Analyzer Cloud location with Forti Analyzer Cloud. Also, there is an option for on-prem too. Next, select the device to be onboarded. Here I have three devices entitled to onboard and I am selecting one of the device. Next, there is an option to edit device names and host names, which is an optional. Here we can add subnets to be monitored specifically. If you do not add, then by default, all the subnets are monitored. The next step is contacts for escalation, which is recommended and also the best practice. Here I'm adding a new a name with the email for, for my escalation. The next step, add escalation pass with primary contact and secondary contact. And also you can select specifically device or all devices. Here is the option to review the submission form and then click submit. Now the request is submitted successfully. Let's go to service request tab and here we can see the new onboarding request is submitted. All clients is the root dashboard shows how many devices and clients are being managed. Go to the My Assets tab and here we can see a new device, Fortigate 201 f with client name Sunnyvale with entitlement and license expiry, etc. Let's go back to Service Request and here we can see the service is fulfilled and completed. We can further drill down the service request to see the detailed onboarding timeline from the assigned state to the complete state. With the new client Sunnyvale added, here is the updated MSSP view to go into different accounts. All clients is the root account for the MSSP, which shows the summary of all the devices. Let's go into the Fortinet marketing account and we can see three monitored devices and all the alerts are correlated with those onboarded devices on this client account. While Let's toggle to new MSSP client Sunnyvale, which shows one onboarded FortiGate and summary with endpoints, security logs and events, etc. Let's jump to alerts and click on first one with severity medium. The alerts gives complete details of the attack happened based on the SOAR playbook with analysis and recommendation for this alert to be taken care of. Alert can drill down further detailed triage with correlation events, indicators, assets, 
and endpoints which is being compromised. SOC as a service has actions to report for config tuning, health and threat protection. The sample report for health will look like this. With this, I end the demo SOC as a service onboarding for MSSP. Thank you for watching.